I want to welcome you to the top 10 tips for selling school spirit wear webinar here presented by Transfer Express. My name is Dave. I'm here with the content team at Transfer Express. I'm joined by Mike behind the scenes. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be a little bit uh, focused on the content here that I'll be presenting today. So Mike's there to catch any of those questions that I'm not able to catch. Also, when I talk about specific uh, resources for you or uh, sp certain things that you could pick up for free or whatnot, uh, Mike will be able to link those in the chat section uh, right there. So just be sure that you are uh, you keep an eye on that chat section. Uh, he may answer your question and also will be dumping some links in there that are going to help you out. So a big round of applause to Mike behind the scenes. Uh, and of course, a big applause to you guys. Your dedication uh, to staying focused with school spirit wear. It is, you know, the summer right now. And the last thing I know I want to be thinking about is going back to school, uh, but, or the kids going back to school per se, but as apparel decorators, we do need to stay focused and be staying ahead, looking forward on ways that we can improve our business, opportunities where we could win printing. So I absolutely applaud you for being here with us today. Um, and I am here to help out. So any, anything you need, uh, let us know right over there in the, uh, in the chat section. Belinda says, can I visit your mentor location to purchase and see the process? So we do not offer public tours. There's a lot of proprietary information that we do behind the scenes, uh, but you absolutely could stop in, talk to a rep. Uh, we have a nice little showroom where you could try out heat presses if you're in the area. Uh, just contact customer service and we could set something up for you to talk with a, uh, a salesperson in our showroom and kind of get, uh, you could see and apply everything uh, on site here uh, as well as, uh, yeah, kind of get the feel for all of those machines. If you've never uh, been to a trade show, which is kind of the same benefit of going to a trade show. You get to see and uh, and kind of touch and feel and apply all of these different products. So you get a good grasp of it and you get to play with all of these different heat presses. But if you don't have, not everybody has the liberty to take a couple days off work, uh, a couple days out of the shop, a couple days not decorating apparel, right? And go to a trade show. Uh, yeah, if you're in one of our locations, I believe the showroom is open in Chandler, Arizona as well. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but we do have a small showroom here in uh, in Manor that we would be more than happy to show you those solutions. Now, we used to do some on-site education. I'm hoping now, after the pandemic's kind of winding down, we could bring back on some of that on-site education. Uh, and that's kind of what we're doing with, like, Pro Day. But Pro Day is more like a traveling uh, full day of education, uh, all built around a heat press and how you as a decorator from anywhere, whether you have a shop or a spare bedroom or a basement or a garage, that you could actually form a profitable business and succeed. Whatever success looks like for you, you could succeed uh, with apparel decorating. So uh, let's just jump right into the agenda today before we get too far down on our time here today. Um, and these are essentially our, our top 10 tips. We are going to have a little bit of, uh, of of some bonus tips at the end, uh, and we'll get to those when we get to them. But essentially, what we're going to be covering today with any marketing or any business opportunities, the first step is always going to be identifying your audience. So you need to know, who am I marketing to? The more relevant you are to a specific group, the more targeted it feels to them, which it doesn't necessarily feel targeted to them because they relate with it then because you're targeting that messaging to them or aesthetics or products or whatever it may be. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth when we get to it, but identifying your audience is a crucial first step to success, not only here with School Spirit Wear, but everywhere else beyond. Of course, then we'll talk about student organizations, the clubs, uh, the, the uh, organizations and the groups that you could start marketing to. It's best to get your foot in a door, get your foot in the door with one of these smaller clubs that makes their own decision before you get into that big school. So you could get all the way in there. Uh, Mike's correcting me that the showroom is actually closed in Arizona currently. So uh, that's why I said, don't quote me on that. Thank you for, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for clearing that up, Mike. Um, so Student organizations, of course, those groups, that's what you want to be looking out for. Next, staff shirts, the faculty of all the schools, uh, not just the teachers, but all of the administration staff, the secretaries, the principals, the vice principals, you know, the ones who used to get you in trouble in school, right? Or the ones you'd have to sit in their office. I was a good kid, okay? I was never in the principal's office except in seventh grade, okay? But we're not going to talk about that. That's for a different, different time right now. <laughs> But we're also going to talk about how you can create your artwork, how you could use mock-ups. Uh, and so I'm going to jump into our free designer that is online. No need for Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, or any of those expensive Adobe subscriptions. You have the power of those programs at your fingertips for 
free. So I'm going to show you kind of how to harness that, creating artwork and using mockups. Then, of course, uh, we're going to look at some personalization. And personalization for any apparel decorator truly is a huge profit opportunity because it's so much more than just a personalization. You are selling that. It's now custom to that user. So you are boosting the value of that item for them, of course, right? But that means more profit in your pocket. Of course, then we'll go into where you could sell. And if you were with us at the last webinar that we did a couple weeks ago, um, I think maybe three weeks ago we, with the, the 4th of July holiday jumping in there, um, we did a whole webinar. Uh, and I think it was an hour and a half, hour, 40 minutes long about printing on site at events. Uh, I've been involved with uh, events, both big and small, selling on site, as well as uh, taking the show on the road with my band uh, back in the day uh, to be able to sell on site as well. So uh, we'll talk about the benefits of kind of printing on site or stocking up and bringing them to these events uh, and some of those events that you could look forward to that are in this school spearware market. But we are just going to kind of touch lightly on the surface of that. If you really want some extended education, uh, you could go watch the replay uh, of that webinar that we did. It is over on our YouTube channel right now. So if you just search Transfer Express, click on the channel, you'll see it as like one or two videos back about printing on site at events. So that's that's, a, that's an important one there too. Hey, look at that. Mike just threw it in the chat there for us. So um, online stores, of course, we talk about selling in person, but where the majority of apparel sales are these days is online, is e-commerce, right? And I don't want you to get intimidated if you're just getting started. It is actually incredibly easy to be able to break into that e-commerce market with a affordable OK, affordable solution that is easy to set up, easy to manage and perfect for your customer. Now, that also is a differentiator. We're going to talk a little bit about some advantages that you could the, 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 the cards that you could keep hidden up your sleeve. That is your advantage over, say, custom ink or these national print shops that it, say if somebody just goes to Google and says custom T-shirts. That, that their services are going to show up before yours. They have a ton of money into that SEO, a ton of money in, or into the development of that uh, search engine optimization that they've done to their website, as well as they're throwing a whole bunch of paid ads at it. But I'm guaranteeing that regardless of your budget, you're going to be able to compete with your services. So we'll touch on that a little bit. We'll talk about using social media uh, along with some of those online stores and in conjunction with that, the platforms that you could use and maybe some ideas that could get you started. Uh, but with social media, my favorite thing is not to get intimidated, be authentic, show your products, show your passion for it. Uh, and other people are going to relate with that. Right. The, I think it gets lost so often that truly the reason social media exists is because it's connected so many people. Sure. Maybe it's divided people, too. Uh, but in your community, as we talk about these markets with school, uh, you really are looking for connections. So putting yourself out there sometimes is scary. But I promise you. It's going to pay off if you show your authentic self, you show how passionate you are for your local community, as we're talking about, you know, local schools, starting local is always the best spot. Um, but if you show your passion, your expertise for like, wow, these styles are on trend, look how great these look, they're exactly what people want. Uh, they like people are going to respond to that. Your community is going to respond to that and you're going to get off the ground. It's not built in a day. It is definitely a slow a slow build for your social media following just getting started. Uh, but it's so easy to get discouraged if you're like, I just want 10,000 subscribers or 10,000 followers like this year. And you just don't get it. Like you get so discouraged. So setting uh, goals that you are in control of are always super important with any marketing initiative. Uh, and social media is one of those. So like, instead of saying, I want this X amount of followers, say, I want to make it a point to post three times a week, five times a week, whatever it may be. Uh, and that's a goal that you are in control of. And then these little tiny steps, those goals that you set for yourself, when you go down the road, you know, six months from now, then you're going to look back and be like, wow, I have so many followers. And you're climbing up that mountain with each additional step. It's not like you're just jumping right up to the stopper or, or right up to the top or climbing this steep uh, cliff. No, you're taking the easy way up. Uh, and before you know it, you're going to have a great following that uh, that will be able to that you're going to be able to essentially sell to there. Uh, so then we'll talk about a few apparel choices as well to round us out and we'll be all set and done. And then I, I did mention we'll give you some tips, the advantage. So we'll cover that there at the end. But uh, yeah, with all of this, just kind of keep this in mind that we're thinking ahead to the beginning of the school year. But if you're, say, advertising on social media, these are the services that you need to be talking about uh, kind of now 
before everybody goes back to school. Because back to school is one of the prime times, especially that football season, uh, that this is the prime time uh, for you to get geared up and win a lot of this business. So let's jump right in and start considering your audience, right? You want to identify who you're going to be selling to, number one, first and foremost. So here looking just, uh, and this could go even deeper, okay? We're going to talk about more organizations, the clubs, the groups, the sports, and then we're going a little bit deeper, a sub-genre of some of these markets. But essentially, there's four main markets here when we're talking about dealing with local schools. And that's elementary schools, high schools, uh, middle schools, kind of school districts in your local community, maybe even some private schools right? Uh, there are a lot of private schools in your local area, uh, even uh, uh, churches that also run schools, so religious schools as well. So this applies to all of them. But again, you're going to market differently to a public school than you maybe would like a Catholic high school. We have a lot of those here in the Cleveland area. Um, and so you're going to market somewhat differently to those two. Now, there's definitely going to be a lot of crossover in the products that you're going to offer, the trends that you're showing, uh, or maybe the solutions, the pricing, uh, but the aesthetics may differ slightly, right? Or when we're talking about stuff like uniforms, where these private high schools have tendency to have a little bit stricter dress code than, say, the public schools where kids here are wearing kind of more just general spirit wear. So these are all things to consider, but you're going to be looking at students, right? Students are number one. They are the reason the school exists, right? Then parents, of course, the parents, especially when we're looking at sports, that the parents are a large driver of spirit where the kids are, uh, the kids are on the field, you know, but the, the parents want to support their child have like, you know, their number on the back of the hoodie that they're wearing. I know my mom, when I played football in high school, my mom always had a hoodie uh, with my number on the back of it that said mom at the top, right? So you see those uh, increasingly uh, at football games or basketball games, baseball, whatever sport or season it is, uh, they want to say like, well, that's my kid out there. You know, you're, you're proud of your kids and, and, uh, and they'll be buying, they have the money to purchase apparel too. So parents, you're kind of you're 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 scratching that itch there for them to want to support their kids and it's a great profit opportunity for apparel decorators staff of course the faculty like i talked about a little bit earlier um not just teachers but there are a lot of opportunities for the entire school staff school spirit and school pride doesn't start with the students uh, a lot of times it starts with the faculty and the teachers who are built there to inspire uh, the kids in school. And then, of course, alumni. When we talk about uh, high schools specifically, I mean, you're not going to see a lot of alumni for like elementary schools coming back or like middle schools, but you'll see a lot in uh, in high school, especially when there's uh, sports or organizations or events uh, around that uh, that alumni kind of field. If it's, uh, you know, the senior football's game, the senior football game and they bring uh the alumni back to like stand on the field and and re be recognized or whatever it may be uh that you have that as a market as well so that you i mean you're going to be showing a lot more alumni gear you're not going to be marketing uh you know some trendy hip hoodie that all the kids are wearing or a crop top that all the kids are wearing these days uh to somebody who's a little bit older uh and uh not wearing crop tops me <laughs> an alumni right so this is going to help you define a lot more than just uh just your artwork but it's going to help your marketing it's going to help uh the styles that you're choosing it's going to help define your artwork so all of this stuff helps you market and so we're going to touch on that a little bit later uh, but i did want to just open the gateway here for this is the first thing that you should really be thinking about here so uh let's let's touch on some of those school organizations the subsets of that that student and this also crosses over to the staff and faculty faculty excuse me let me take a let me take a drink of the third or fourth cup of coffee whatever mike's keeping the tally with <laughs> over in the chat section um so with school organizations this is a big one that crosses both students and the staff so everything from student governments the model un stuff like that there are those clubs that are essentially travel teams too so they like to wear the school pride um but that's going to be you know maybe more like uh embroidered polos or you're putting some flex style on a polo or maybe even uh just some goof proof or ultra color max and that sim embroidery have you seen this embroidery it's really cool we have a video on our youtube uh talking about it but that's like that faux embroidered look uh, without the need for sewing machines, you can apply it with your heat press and it is super, super soft to the touch. So even on like a, a lighter sport, uh, kind of like the, the dry moisture wicking polos that if you had a big, heavy embroidered patch on it, 
uh, or big heavy embroidery, you're going to feel that. And it's not going to be as comfortable as, say, something that's thin, but you could get that same look. So that right there is going to help you kind of position and start to think about the apparel that you're going to be offering if you're going in to pitch uh, any of these student organizations. Of course, of course, the athletic booster clubs, uh, debates, the bands, newspapers, drama clubs, uh, which do a ton of T-shirts. Think if they're doing two or three, um, say they're just doing two or three plays a year, they're doing shirts for every single one. And then maybe like an evergreen one for everybody in the club, right? Maybe they're even selling merch at the end of those. And those typically are like the rosters, you know, it'll have the names of all the kids who are involved in it on the back of the shirt as a memento for every single person who's, who's been a part of that production. And then because the parents want a memory of that event and they're proud of their kids, they're going to want one too. So there's two shirts for every, at least kid, you know, um, or, you know, including the kid that's three shirts then. So you can see how quickly these kind of start to snowball from small opportunities to quite large opportunities that are literally right here in your backyard. Of course, dance or science clubs, chess clubs, um, it's typically a little bit smaller. Uh, one of my favorites uh, we just saw on one of our uh, our Facebook pages, which if you are on Facebook, you gotta ask, uh, to you gotta be a part of the Heat Press for Profit group and our Easy Prince Decorators group. Mike could throw a link in there. Um, if you're an active Transfer Express customer, it is an awesome community of like-minded individuals that are here to help you out. And it's so great to see that community thrive. Uh, but somebody posted something in there uh, just a couple weeks ago about a robotics club and like how awesome the kids felt wearing uh, for the first time, like decorated gear for their own robotics club and like uh, the the sense of school spirit and also club spirit looked great when they traveled to a competition. So, the you know, there isn't any club too small that is going to be outside of your apparel decorating reach. And even if a lot of people say like, or I hear from a lot of decorators, like I'm having a really hard time breaking into this school markup. Uh, school school uh, market for us. Uh, they, you know, I don't know who to contact or I keep getting the runaround. Starting with these smaller groups is the easiest way to get your foot in the door. Because usually it's like the the teacher or the faculty member who is the, the, the captain, uh, the leader of this uh, group or event, they're the ones making the shots. It doesn't have to go all the way up uh, through the administration uh, to the district level or something for a purchase. It's that staff member who is saying, Yes, I, I'm going to do this. So it's a lot easier to build that one-on-one -on -one relationship, especially when they're like, I don't really know where to go. Um, and all it takes to get your foot in the door on some of these is literally just showing up to a PTA meeting, to a uh, one of those robotics club events and say, hey, I could cut you guys a deal. I'm here locally. Uh, are you guys interested in some t-shirts? Get them a quote, get them a price. And I guarantee uh, that's going to get you some movement. You just have to get out there. Maybe you, do, and even if you don't have the time necessarily to say, go to a, a robotics club event or anything like that, like you can reach out. Usually they have like a Facebook group or they're proud of an Instagram page that the, the staff member runs or something, or maybe even the kids run uh, to show off all the cool stuff that they're working on, the events that they're going to, the tournaments that they win, the trophies, whatever it may be, um, that you could reach out there and say, hey, I noticed you guys don't have any printed apparel. I'm here locally. Uh, I would love to be able to support you guys, maybe a small donation or something. Be like, you know, I'll cut you these shirts for half price if you if I could put my name on them or what, whatever it may be. It's going to vary per group but it's a great opportunity to be able to get your foot in the door. That's going to lead to these larger, uh, these larger opportunities. Um, yeah. John says we did hoodies, t-shirts and caps for two robotics clubs. Uh, we printed hoodies and t-shirts multiple years. And I introduced a sample cap once it got my 360 and they bought 24. Maybe that's it. You know, John, that's a fantastic. Thank you for chiming in with that. Cause that's a fantastic tip is samples really sell. So even if they do have a supplier, and say you go to the robotics club and like you just bring something for the, you know, the captain, the the coach, whatever it may be, who's going to make the shots. And you say, hey, here's the, the team captain shirt or, or team coach or robotics club coach, whatever it may be as the robotics club coaches. Uh, but you essentially bring one a hat or a polo, a jacket, windbreaker, whatever it may be. And with Ultra Color Max, you could order just one. So it's super easy when you have another job, just order one ultra color max with that logo, that robotics club logo. And then you bring it as a sample. Hey, I'm in the, I love what you guys are doing. Uh, you know, I just wanted to support. Here you go. Physical samples sell themselves is what John just said. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of doing. you right. They get it. And they're like, this is awesome. And then the kids see the coach and go, Hey coach, where'd you get, where'd you get that, that polo at? We want some. 
right there. Now the rest, that order's coming in, right? So you get everybody motivated by it. Sample, sell themselves. So that's a great, That's a, thanks, for, thanks for chiming in with that, John. This is a great opportunity to approach any of organizations like this in your local community with a sample. And, you know, if you have the capital to be able to do it, sometimes you don't have the capital to be dishing out samples every now and then, uh, but, or maybe you're reserving it for every now and then and not all the time, but even we'll get into some ways that like you can mock things up uh, to share with somebody to, to allow them to get it. But samples uh, truly do sell themselves. So um, yeah, uh, Terry asks, is there a YouTube video on designing and making hats? So actually uh, either releasing today or tomorrow, we're actually going to be talking about uh, printing Ultra Color Max on hats. But of course, we do have tons of content over on our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, Mike's going to find it right there. So we'll uh, we'll applaud uh, Mike for helping out Terry right there. So um, definitely here, uh, leveraging those relationships, leveraging those samples, uh, and starting where your kids are too. So you don't have to have kids in the system, right, in the school district. Uh, you could start with that local angle. Hey, I'm in the community. I just want to help support my community uh, and make you and elevate the look, whatever it may be. Right. Um, but if your child is part of the football team, you have that in. That's now the, ath the athletic boosters that you could get in, in front of. You know, if they're part of the film club or, uh, you know, choir, band, whatever it may be, you see that you see the band director. Right. So you could just say, hey, have you guys thought about I, I do shirts? I, could, I would love to give you a quote. Or you drop them off that sample, the sample hat, right? Drop them off some kind of sample and say, "Hey, I'd love to be able to give you guys a quote. I bet I could. I bet I could give you a real competitive price against who you're currently purchasing from." And what's the worst they're going to say is no. Best case scenario, boom, you just made a relationship and now you have a customer for years and years to come. So that's really, really important there. So um, let's roll right into staff shirts. So not just the students. We talked about some student-based organizations that crossed a little bit over into the staff, but staff shirts are a big opportunity too. Because if you think about high schools, I mean, my high school was humongous. I think my graduating class was almost 600. Uh, and I know there was more than 100 uh, faculty in the school. So uh, any uniforms or the team building events. My wife is actually a teacher at a middle school and they're broken into like each individual little pods, right? So she's the guardians team. And so she makes a whole bunch of apparel just for her specific team. Uh, and it is that team building, that team pride. Uh, and then they kind of like compete with other little pods or teams within the building to see who's got the most spirit, right? So um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely important to, to, to keep staff in mind. Of course, theme weeks, when it's uh, the school spirit weeks, either at the beginning of the year or like, right around that homecoming time. There's always like everybody's decorating the halls or each grade is doing something different. Uh, and so there you go. The homerooms are getting it, the, the kids are getting into it and there's a lot of printing opportunity there. And of course, teacher appreciation, I believe is in the spring. I should know this, my wife's gonna kill me if she's watching this and I don't know when teacher appreciation week is. Uh, but a lot of times uh, the schools will actually purchase full runs for everybody. And those are incredibly profitable jobs uh, for you. So just like this, Brentwood teachers encouraging success um, that they'll outfit the entire team with at some team building event during the summer or in the fall, in the springtime, uh, or just, hey, start of the school year, maybe a new teacher starting, they're giving them. It's in May. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Saving me the brownie points with my wife. So, uh, so we're not, we're not getting in trouble later tonight. So, um, but absolutely. <laughs> uh, let me read this comment from Cassie here. I started with my daughter's bowling team and I work at the middle school and do little one-offs from time to time. And now I'm finally doing sports teams. It's a slow go at the beginning, but hang in there, which is great. Thank you for that, that advice and that encouragement there, because it is, you know, Rome wasn't built in the day. And a lot of times, especially when you're operating any business, including apparel decorating, trying to break into, uh, you know, a, a, a very lucrative uh, market like schools, just be persistent. Uh, don't be overbearing, build those relationships and it will come back to you. And then once you get to those, those athletic teams and the spirit wear, and you're selling, uh, you know, you have the little booth at next to the concession stand on a Friday night, uh, for the varsity football game, that's when you look back and you go, man, all of those little steps that I took really, really made it right here. So that was, that was awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, and that's what, you know, I love the community here. I, I, I love that you guys are chiming in uh, and really sharing your own stories because that really helps everybody out. And that is something that I am floored by uh, in the apparel decorating community. And that's why those Facebook groups that I mentioned uh, are just so absolutely incredibly valuable that, you know, out of, you know, 
this global economy that we live in, this national economy, where essentially we're all competitors to each other. There's so much uh, helpfulness. And so like everybody's willing to help each other out. If it's like, hey, this is the style I usually use, but I don't like I want something similar. And people will be like, oh, here's this style I've printed on this. I love it. Like my customers love it or whatever it may be. Hey, have you thought about using next level or whatever it may be? Um, from the techniques to blank apparel styles, uh, seeing the community really embrace each other and just elevate everybody and reach out and like help people just getting started. Man, it warms my heart. It absolutely is absolutely incredible. So um, it's great, great to be here uh, with you guys. So Jimmy says, I got lucky and got in with my daughter's youth cheering squad just as they started. Uh, I now do all the spirit stores and long runs for the squad. There you go. It's just that little catalyst. It's that foot in the door. And that's really where uh, either stepping in with the staff here or those organizations that we just covered in the previous slide, like that is really where it becomes super, super valuable um, to get in and start getting into that. So um, yeah, very, very important. Thank you guys for sharing again. Um, I'll probably say it a couple more times throughout <laughs> the rest of our presentation here today, uh, but I will say I'll cheers you um, and and raise my glass of coffee uh, to you that I, I do appreciate you being here and sharing your own experiences. So like I mentioned, uh, you know, this kind of goes hand in hand with creating artwork, which we're going to jump in and talk about here in just a minute. But um, if you don't have those samples, these mock-ups are some of the closest things to it. Now, a lot of schools have seen their logo. Uh, if it's printed on a banner or something, you know, they see them painted on the walls down the halls of the high school um, or maybe on the sign out front. So like just showing somebody a logo or a t-shirt design like this, this Chandler Coyotes design, it's like, man, I've seen stuff like that on, on Etsy or whatnot. And it's, you know, it's cool. But when you start to put it on the school's colors, uh, you kind of give it context with uh, one of the mock-ups like this, um, which... I, I, now, I, a spoiler alert, there's going to be a great digital mock-up pack uh, coming with the new marketing kit uh, in the new year. So that's that's something to really look forward to. Um, and that's built to help you out. So stuff just very similar to this Chandler uh, uh, Coyotes uh, kind of mock-up here with the pants and some folders that give it that real nice look. But of course, you could take those photos yourself. So uh, some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. I probably maybe not have should have spilled the beans on that, but that's all right. We're all friends here today, right? Uh, but essentially, uh, it's a great way to start get, like making that feel concrete without the investment of actually having to purchase a transfer uh, or purchase apparel. And sometimes, especially when you're looking at some like higher end, like windbreakers or outerwear jackets, quarter zips, uh, that could be a $30 or $40 blank that they want to purchase, but just it might be a little high of an investment to not know if they actually are going to purchase them for, from you, uh, that you could show them on a mock-up. So a great way to get that started. It's also a great way to start pre-sales. Um, if you're gonna sell anything online on kind of like a pre-sell everything online, and then once the orders come in, you close the store and you fulfill everything, uh, it's great for that because then you don't have to fulfill anything up front or even social media. Put it up to a vote, post in the community page and say, hey, new spirit wear coming for the fall football team. Which one's your favorite? And have people vote. We do it for every show that we go to. So all those trade shows, events and expos, uh, we always bring a T-shirt design that we print uh, that you just come to the booth and print a free T-shirt. Uh, so but we we let our audience on social media vote which one they like the best. And that's the one that we end up bringing. So a great interactive way. And then that's the way that you're kind of doing double duty. Number one, you're kind of testing the market to see specifically what aesthetic they want. Number two, you're generating more engagement because people love to chime in on that, even if it's just a simple like A, B, or C. And they're like, oh, I love B. You know, as they comment, comment on it, more people are going to see it. More people are going to comment on it. And it's going to expose your brand to more people than you thought possible. The friends of the friends, you know, the rest of the community or whatever group you're posting in. Uh, and it allows it to get a little bit more legs behind those social media posts. So it's really a double-edged sword right there. Of course, um, you could upload student models. Uh, take a photo with them wearing a blank t-shirt and just upload them right into the designer, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Um, and then, of course, testing any colors and design choices, saying which one do you guys like best uh, on that social media. Um, so Kate says, uh, Katie had a great question in there. Um, it is usually okay. Is it usually okay to use high school logos? I know college is a no-no. So college, uh, every single one of those, they make a ton of money 
I don't want to say every college, but 99% of colleges make a ton of money off college spirit wear, right? So you really have to check and see what they have licensed and what uh, their intellectual property is. Because sometimes it's even farther from uh, than what just the school name is. Like Alabama University, if you put Alabama in red letters in a block text on a t-shirt, they own the intellectual property to it. Uh, it was one of those schools. I don't know if it's Alabama or Mississippi State or something like that, but it's specific colors in a specific font uh, or close to uh, on a shirt. So they own that inlet. That's what they do. So you kind of know what I'm talking about, like the college stuff. So a, a lot of the, a lot of that stuff is the logos. Absolutely not. I even worked at a company that did a lot of Greek life. Uh, and while there was licenses and everything was licensed properly for Greek life, a lot of the times they would say like, oh, well, we want the Falcon from Bowling Green State University uh, on the back of it. And we'd be like, no can do. The school's going to tell you no or you're gonna to have to pay an incredible amount of money to license that from the school, uh, but they don't want any affiliation with that whatsoever. So they're probably gonna say no anyway. So uh, it's best to just avoid that stuff. For high schools, especially when you get the job, uh, they usually give you the, the, light, the rights to using that logo. If the logo is even uh, kind of a generic or free use. So a lot of times you'll see, uh, especially older ones, I really have to say, I am, I will applaud the designers and uh, the dedication to the aesthetic that a lot more high schools are taking now these days. Like, man, when I went to high school, our mascot looked weird. And now that high school has like a sweet looking, like futuristic graphic. And it like, it looks like a pro team. Why didn't we have that when I was there, right? It looks so much cooler now. So um, I do have to say that like a, a lot of times you'll see some cool designs from them, uh, but they'll send you uh, any vector logos or anything or usually you could find them online on like a uh, on a school's page or something where you're able to to do that. Some of them still are uh, maybe a little bit more older school where you're going to find some low res JPEG uh, thing that you're going to be able to to take a look at. But um, as we talk about that, let's hop on over to the EasyView Online Designer. I'm going to show you how you could do this uh, yourself, whether you have Photoshop, Illustrator experience or none at all. So even if you can't draw a stick figure, I'll show you how you could create uh, artwork that's actually going to sell um, for for your customers. So something really, really cool. And uh, let me let me get the screen recording here going. And uh, and we'll we'll jump on over to our easy view online designer. So um, let's see, is this going to work? Yes, it, of course, it's going to work. Here we go. Sorry about that delay. So I am just covering up a little bit of the corner in the bottom corner of the screen. So uh, no worries right here. Um, I'm not I'll, if I'm covering anything important at the bottom, then I'll uh, I'll move. I'll turn off my little my little face uh, here in the bottom right corner. Um, so essentially, this is Easy View Online Designer at TransferExpress.com, right? So uh, all we have to do is click on Online Designer right here at the top of the page uh, or Order Transfers Online Designer. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, you have access to this for absolutely free, okay? This is all you need is a Transfer Express account. We're not going to ask you for a credit card or anything when you sign up for an account. And you're going to get an awesome welcome kit if you haven't already signed up for an account. So if you haven't signed up for a Transfer Express account, go do it right now while we're talking here on the webinar live right now. Uh, and you can even kind of follow along with some of the stuff that we'll be doing here in the designer. Uh, of course, uh, we have a, a ton of layouts and clip art all in here. And there's even a huge sports uh, and school section, right? So there's uh, tons and tons of artwork here for the best sellers or new for 2023 or specific for what you're looking for is football season coming up. Here is a whole bunch of football season stuff that you could do and see even like a lot of them are specifically targeted towards uh, high school sports. So uh, really the big markets that we've seen over the past 30 years of being in the apparel decorating game uh, and here built to help you out as well. So you could pull any of these. Let's just go up to some school layouts as we're talking about just general school spirit wear. Um, and we could scroll through and see a whole bunch of these. Here's some of these roster lists, like what I was talking about with like the uh, um, like those uh, the uh, the choir or drama club where they're putting a lot of names all up and down each shirt. So that's really cool. Here's just some generic spirit wear stuff. Uh, and you can see as we go new for 2023 or band, all of these different markets that we were talking, the class lists, seniors, a big opportunity as well. Um, all that stuff, elementary school, drama, choir, um, just general school layouts, right? So all this you could see in here. Now, this might be a little, uh, you know, it's great to be able to browse, but there's actually a tool that we have. It's called the idea book. Um, there's a black and white one included in the kit, 
Uh, but as part of our marketing kit, we do have a full color version. Uh, and it looks something like this. This is the digital version, but your name as a business would be right here. Um, and you could go through here and you could almost browse this with your customers or that staff member, the coach, the, uh, the faculty member that you're talking to and be able to have them browse through this book to start looking at stuff. So let's go find, you see it's all over on the side here, right? We have, these are just basic motivation or trending layouts that are in here that we saw that correspond to those same categories in the online designer. But we'll just, we'll get to, okay, so here we go. We're getting into school, right? So here's some school layouts. This is the class of, so you're getting that senior pride, class of 2023. Of course, you'll be looking 2024 here as the school year starts up. But it's not just at the end of the year. A lot of times there's like, you, kids are so proud to be starting their senior year that they want that apparel then. So in the fall and the spring, uh, some great opportunities for the, the school spirit wear for those seniors. These signature shirts, really, really super cool. We have a video on how you could easily get those created, uh, essentially with an iPad or printing it out and scanning it back in. And we'll make sure all of those signatures look good. So of course, we'll just go through, look at some of these school layouts. These might look familiar as some of the ones we saw when we were just browsing browsing through. But really the, the beauty of using the idea book is that you truly do kind of have all of these. So now they're going into mascots and, and whatnot. You have all of these designs at your fingertips. And these are 100% completely customizable. So uh, let's say this one right here, right? MAS 187. This is a great one with a panther, but say our school mascot is not a panther, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, and we'll pick that one. So say we were browsing this with our customer or we gave them this link to say, hey, this is my artwork catalog. Go ahead and browse through it. Uh, all of the capabilities of what I'm um, available for in the binder version. Do I have one? I might have one up here. Let's see. Oh, the binder version of... I don't have the idea book on the inside, but this is what the binder version looks like, right? And it's a three ring binder. You could just uh, like remove pages. So if you just want to show them the school stuff, you go remove all of those other categories that we just saw uh, throughout the uh, throughout that that entire uh, artwork catalog in the Easy View Online Designer. So let's take this one. Let's make a note. MAS one eighty seven. So back over here in our Online Designer, we could click Add Layout. Right. And we could just type in MAS, what was it, 187? Boom. Right there, we could pull this in. Now, say that our school um, is not Compton. Uh, that's just our placeholder there. Um, and say it's um, what, Rossburg? Rossburg. And they are uh, Eagles. So let's just say, um, or the Hawks. So like Red Hawks or something, right? So Mossberg Redhawks, cool. So you could see how easy I could just double click. I just double clicked on both of these to change it and type everything updates in real time. Like how cool is that, right? So this obviously is a Panther and not a, uh, um, this is this is a Panther, not a, a Red Hawk. So we could go in here to clip art and do exactly what we did. Instead of searching the specific layout number, let's just say Hawk, right? So we could look in here and see some of these different hawks like, yeah, maybe that one's close or this one, but we want to use the actual school's logo, right? We were just talking about the school's logo in there. Um, and so here we could say upload, upload artwork. Let's pull in our own hawk. So here we go, uh, like a hawk like this. This is the hawk that's coming in. And this is a vector file. So if they send you a vector file, it's going to import into the system here just as any of this clip art is. So you could see you have the same controls to resize uh, and do whatever you want with it. Resize, recolor. So let's go ahead and click on this guy and just delete. But then I'm just gonna move this guy right in here, this Red Hawks. And now we have it in just a couple minutes. This is a fully customized T-shirt layout. Now for most people, this is gonna take a little bit of time, right? If I was designing this from scratch, I consider myself to be pretty good in Adobe Illustrator, but this at best is going to take maybe 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. If I didn't already have this idea of this layout, right? Just to recreate this layout, if I had a picture of it and like, all right, I'm gonna recreate this as a vector, it's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes probably of design time, right? And you need to be charging your customers for that because in any business, especially the apparel business, Time is money, right? So here we have this artwork already ready to go. And now we could save it in the designer. I saw a question in there. Uh, could you tell me how to get to that page you're using? I just logged into my account. So uh, let's just, I'm gonna right click and open a new tab right here. So this is transferexpress.com. You could click online designer right here at the top. And that's gonna take you into the online designer. Or if you go over to order transfers, you could click online designer right here. If you just click order transfers, I believe it opens the online designer too. You wanna see if it does? Hey, it totally does. All right, cool. That would have been embarrassing if it didn't. <laughs>
<laughs> so here we're in the online designer. Of course, I uploaded this vector artwork. So now I'm going to have to change uh, change the color right here. So uh, let's just click black. Uh, and up there. I see Michelle says, uh, what is the best way to get help with Spirit Store? I think you guys were talking about Spirit Store in the comments there as I was uh, focused on designing here. There is a Facebook group specifically dedicated to Spirit Store users um, where you can rely on others in the community to ask questions, uh, report bugs, or actually talk to the development team uh, that monitors that page. And they're there to support you. Of course, I believe there's a, there's a specific contact for Spirit Sale too. Um, or spirit store, so uh, you could you could look at that as well. So um, and they're average to help you out. So uh, what's uh, Cassie? That's a great question here. Thank you for asking this, Cassie. What's the average cost per hour to charge a customer for designing? I just said the other day that I needed to do that. So uh, I came uh, into the printing industry from being a graphic designer. Went to school for graphic design. Still paying the student loans for graphic design, uh, and I charge freelance fifty dollars an hour at minimum. That is, uh, that is, and it's uh, usually like an hour. So if you wanted to design like this, it's $50 an hour, right? But I just did this in two minutes, not even, um, less than a minute, right? Especially if I use that artwork catalog. So now when we talk about your advantages over other print shops, I'll give you free design. How about that? Free design, a couple of revisions. We'll go over the artwork catalog. That'll take maybe 10, 15 minutes out of my day. Or hey, I'll send you that link and you could browse the artwork catalog and tell me what you want. I'll customize it to be exactly what you need, and it's completely free. You won't pay a dime for it. You just have to buy the printing from me, right? Which I'm going to show you how you can protect that yourself. But when I do freelance design, uh, or did, I don't have time to do it anymore. Um, but when I did, uh, it was $50 an hour, and that seems to be the industry going rate and has been for quite a while. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some designers in here that might be like, well, I charge $60 an hour or $80 an hour. And of course, like if you're going to, if you know it's going to be a half an hour, you could maybe be like, well, I'll, I'll do 25 for that design. Um, but in most cases, if somebody comes to you, and I mean, as, as you guys out there tell me, uh, because I, as an apparel decorator myself for a very long time and a designer, uh, I've had more clients that I would like to admit go, eh, I don't really know what I want. You're the expert. Just run with it. And you're like, okay, cool. I'm in the sandbox. I get to make something cool now. You spend a whole bunch of time making something cool in there. Then they just send you a screenshot from Pinterest to go, I was really thinking something more like this. You were the one that literally from the beginning told me that you didn't have anything in mind. Graphic design is not Netflix. It's not browse around for 20 minutes looking for something that you like, you know? Well, it is. You can make that possible and you can make that affordable, sustainable for you and your business by leveraging that, that art catalog and the Easy View Online Designer now. Now, right? So say our customer says, that looks fantastic. I need approval from my board, right? Which we haven't even shown up a mock-up yet, which we could do all right here in this program. Ronald, uh, he asks, how do you download and send proofs to clients? I'm getting to that in just a second. So let's just save this. We could click save, create a folder. Here's all of our, our custom folders that we have right here. So you could name it, say Rossberg uh, 2023 Spiritwear, whatever it is, save it to a Rossberg folder. So you have everything categorized for them. Uh, but Ronald wants to get in and see the proofs. Let's get in and see the proofs. So right here, you could screenshot this as a low resolution proof to send on over, or we're gonna click this over to mock up. But what I'm gonna do before then is, I want to show you how you could change colors and start to even kind of see this proof come together. So say we're going to be printing on a navy shirt. We want to switch this over to uh, white inks. Let me just grab all of my white ink, change it over to white. So now all of our image here is white. This hawk kind of looks a little crazy. So let me show you how powerful this designer is, okay? So a lot of other online designers, this is about as far as you could get, right? And then when you start changing colors, things get a little weird. Maybe you can't change the, the certain text or like this font. I don't like this font. I don't want to change this font. Check this out. You can change the font with one click. Go over here. It shows me what, what fonts I have running right here on the left-hand side at the bottom and say, well, I want this one now, right? I want to go backwards. I like, I like that script font. I wanted to keep that. Or uh, I want to turn this and make this straight. I don't like that little curve. Let's do it like that. Looks perfect. Hey, I don't really like that italic, right? Let's make it more straight. You have all of this. That's what I'm saying. Like for an online designer and coming from a design background where I went to college for graphic design, this program blows me away. It seriously, like when I was, when I first, I was like, ah, I'm not going to use an online designer. It's been so easy to be able to, to quickly whip up designs and mock-ups and get this production ready artwork ready to go. And then you just click order all from here. Uh, it even, uh, if I'm, I'm going to hide my head for a second here. Whoop. Nope. I ruined my screen share. Why'd you do that, Dave? Um, let's go back to my, my screen share. 
perfect. Here, we're back in the screen share. Um, if I move my, my camera, let me turn my, there we go, uh, the right button now. But you, let's say like we need 100 quantity of this, right? We can put in 100 quantity. And it's actually going to tell us right down here at the bottom what our pricing is, what our ship date is. Say, uh, you know, this is really cool about this program too. I want 47 quantity, right? Uh, it's actually going to tell me uh, right in here that, hey, uh, I could save $25 off my order by just adding to one more shirt. So it actually tells you like to save money and just watch this price right down here, right? So 156 for all of these, and I'm gonna say, save me money, 130. It truly is saving me money. What other design, Illustrator's not gonna do that for you. Photoshop's not gonna do that for you. No, they just take your money, right? <laughs> So uh, you definitely uh, want to make this easy. But like I mentioned, let's go back and try to edit this guy right here, right? So uh, not really a huge fan of how this one looks. So maybe let's uh, let's just go back. I'm just going to go back a few, a few steps if I could. I'm just using the undo function. And so right here, um, we see that this has uh, this guy. And so, well, actually, I, could, I don't know why I went back. Let's just change this all back over to white because it is just white. So here we could grab this and let's say... Uh, Let's just let's just change this to no ink. Nope, he's gone. All right, white. Uh, but we could. Whoop. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to go fast here for you uh, and wrap this up. Let's say like let's add let's add an outline here, right? And we could add this big outline. Uh, and if you could see, I'm making it a little bit thicker there, right? So as we make this big outline, now let's change this one over to white. Uh, whoop! I shouldn't have done that. Let's uh, let's go back, right? So <laughs> sorry about that. Let's take this white and move it to no ink. Here we go. And now we have this nice outline that looks cool, right? So just like that. And now I want it to kind of cut out. I don't want it to, to show uh, the show through area here. Check this out, right? I want it to knock out some of this text like it's sitting on front. I'll grab a range, move it to the top. Let's throw another outline on it. And this one I'm going to set to no ink, right? So as I set it to no ink, let's make it nice and thick. And now it's knocking out to that garment color to give it that nice professional touch, right? So whatever you wanna do, you could add this all in here, whatever you need to do, it's set. Or if we wanna just revert to back what we did, uh, we could just say, uh, hey, all of these, let's just remove them, remove them. All of this is completely editable, all in real time, right? It is effectively Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator. It is a vector-based program. So really, really cool to bring in. Um, I do want to show you the mock-up functionality here. So over here on this blue bar on the side right here, we could click mock-up. So now we're clicking this as mock-up. It's pulling in here. Now we have this watermark. It says Easy Prints, right? This is so people don't steal your artwork. You spend all that time doing free design, right? And then they just go send it off to Custom Ink. It's like, come on, don't do that, you know? So instead of it being easy prints, let's just say it's Dave prints, right? Boom, you could make your own watermark and now you're sending this, it looks super pro uh, and you're gonna make sure that that your artwork stays your artwork, your customers stay your customers. Uh, and maybe if they're sharing it out to say, hey, what do you guys think of this year's? This is what we're gonna buy. Uh, it has your print shop's logo on it too. So, so really, really cool. Um, so what's even cooler, is we could download this right now with the watermark on it if we wanted to. There is not an option to turn the watermark off, so it is saving your, your property and your design time. So we could upload your own. You could upload your own mock, which I'm gonna do in a second. Uh, you could browse stock, which are just like some generic t-shirts, right? So let's like just pull in, uh, that, what did I say? It was a navy t-shirt, right? So we could now, because we're mocked up, we could turn off that watermark if we want to. And now this is a product photo. Now we have this mocked up. How easy was that? That literally just took me like a minute to do. No need for Photoshop, no need for anything else. These browse stock, that's loaded in there. That's loaded in there as a flat shirt. Now, of course, not everybody likes the flat shirt. They wanna see what it looks like worn on a person. I wanna see, is that a fitted shirt or is that kind of more like one of those like boxy tees or is that a crop top? How, how does that fit? So let's say use apparel. Now this connects to the entire catalog of available uh, apparel at transferexpress.com. So say, uh, you know, you want that Bella Canvas 3001. They say the kids love how soft it is. It looks like it's a nice fitted tee. Uh, it doesn't shrink when it's washed. Bella Canvas 3001, let's click on it. We got the model shot. We're gonna go with a black or like a navy. Um, you see all of the colorways, and these are the real colorways that are available in these. So when they say like, oh, I want this specific style of t-shirt, or they just say, I want this specific color. You don't have to go bouncing around everywhere on the internet. You could just go, oh, well, the go-to is my 3001 Bella Canvas. Do they have it in navy? Sure enough, here they do. I'm going to get my navy mocked up, and it's just rolling right through there. Um, and so I just grab my artwork, and boom. Look at that. 
All set. Looks great, huh? Looks great. You could even get the back model shot by clicking on the back model here. So this, again, is a Bella Canvas 3001, all right here, ready to go. The front, if you just want one flat, oh, that one's missing there. Um, some of them don't have all of those options. But let's go to upload my own, right? So we saw that entire catalog. Uh, let's say we're going to grab this, this football one, right? So this is going for our football. <coughs> Excuse me. But we'll go ahead and pull this in. And these could be photos of your own, uh, you know, T-shirts that you have in your own shop. You could go out to the football field and and throw this down in the end zone that's painted that says R Rossburg Red Hawks. Take a quick photo with your phone, and then now you're mocking this up. And now when somebody sees this, it's more than just a logo, right? It's that's exactly what I wanted. This is going to help you sell more apparel too if you can't afford to do those samples, right? So boom, we're all set right there. We could download this and say this is the Rossburg Football Proof right? And download, right? Maybe I don't think we could put a, an equal sign in there, but download. And it's going to download right to our computer, right through our browser, all in real time, right? So really, really cool functionality and features that you have all in this online designer. So you have all of that pricing, you have the turn times, you have all of the entire artwork catalog, and you have this mock-up feature and functionality all built right in to one program that is completely free. Um, so Shuby has a great question here that I want to show you before I go back to our presentation in our slide deck here. Would the quality be good enough as is, or do you need vector artwork, right? You don't need vector artwork. Let me show you exactly what we could do. So we have this little hawk guy right here, right? Looks pretty cool. Looks good, right? So let's say I want to upload. And now, so I use this one right here. And this is a Adobe PDF. It is a vector file format. Um, and it's it's it pulled in and allowed me to edit it right away, change colors, whatnot, right? So say this is this is all you actually could get, right? They don't have anything else. This is a PNG file at 423 by 382 pixels. Oh, you guys can't see this. It doesn't, it doesn't open, <laughs> it doesn't show my, I don't think it's showing my my browser, but essentially, <clears throat> or my file explorer as I clicked upload, right? So um, and it, it's downloading everything now too. So all these windows are popping up. I, I don't know if you guys could see them or not, but anyway, I am now going to try to import a, uh, yes. Okay. So you see it here. This is the low resolution 400 by 400 pixel, uh, PNG raster file that I'm going to pull in. Now, right now you have some sweet controls. You could keep the original with the white around the background or it remove the white background or remove all white so that you can't you can barely see it but it's removing the white from the eye here in our hawk you could kind of see that checkerboard background in the background uh but let's just say remove the white background so we have a lot of this other information all ready to go i'm going to click next and you have the option here essentially to live trace or vectorize your file it's really really cool so here we go here's our uh our, our hawk from our school. They say, this is the mascot we want to use. We could either import this as full color and not be able to edit it, or for our purposes, for our screen printed shirts that we're going to be doing with our screen printed transfers, let's say spot color. Boom, right? So now I'm pulling it in. It's recognizing it as four colors, but say if I just want it to be two colors, how about that, right? Um, I'm going to say reprocess. So now it drops it to just two colors. Boom. Sets right in. Let's add this spot color version then. So now we have this. This is now a vector file. So now we could recolor this. Let's say that we do want to make this, this inside white. We'll take that and make it no ink. And now we could, I'm just going to delete this, delete this one and slide this one right in. So however we want to color this, whatever we want to do, say we want to make this a two color. We want to do a mid blue or it's the Red Hawks, right? We should probably make it red, right? Let's make it a, ru a rust and a white. Boom. Now we have it. Let's take this one and we could say, let's make this red too. It shows us at the bottom, right? Now we're really starting to get creative, right? But this is all in just a couple clicks. That now we have this really, really cool design that we could go back into our mock-up. It saves all of these changes in real time so we can instantly mock this up as we're designing a super, super powerful tool for any apparel decorator. I don't care if you are well-versed in design how easy and efficient this is uh, to be able to use. And this is a free tool. I don't know how we do it. I don't know how we do it, but um, I don't know. Call us crazy. But essentially we have, you know, this artwork. Let's size this to what, nine inches to get it ready to go. And uh, and we're going to go back to our uh, our sheet. Let's just, or our uh, 
whatchamacallit, our, our whatchamacallit, our, our presentation slide deck here. So um, let's switch back on our slides and, uh, and, and pick up where we left off with using our mockups. And hey, I'm back. I'm all right here. So um, yes, easy view, super, super powerful. If you can't tell, I really, really enjoy the program, even as a designer, makes it super, super easy. And, and Shuby, I'm glad you asked about uh, not just vector artwork, but raster artwork, anything you could pull in there uh, and be able to live trace it, manipulate it, recolor it, uh, and, and change anything that you want. Even if they already say like, well, we have this logo, but we just want to add 2023 to it or something, right? You could easily pull it in just to add text, add 2023, all right there in the program, uh, nice and easy, without the need for any creative cloud subscriptions or expensive design software. Uh, I also want to mention that like, I'm on a, a pretty okay uh, Dell computer, right? It's not like anything super fancy, barely runs Photoshop and Illustrator, but I'm able to easily fly anywhere you have an internet connection. You could use EasyView Online Designer. And it was probably even lagging a little bit for me because I'm streaming to you right now from presenting the webinar. So being able to get in there and use that stuff, really, really cool. Um, really, really cool stuff. So um, let's let's jump into some personalization. So I talked about a personalization a little bit when we talk about moms, dads, uh, and my mom with my number on her hoodie up in the, in, up in the stands for the football games. Um, but that's it. So names, uh, if it's the last name to put up there, that wasn't an option for my school and whoever was doing it, but I bet they could have won a lot more business if they were like, we're going to put the last name and the number up there instead of just the number, right? So um, I'm looking at you, Sporting Goods Store, that I will not name. <laughs> um, but that is who, who fulfilled that for the school, right? So you could do the relationship. If it's mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, you see these a lot at those big like baseball sporting tournaments, the soccer tournaments, where it's like, it'll be the team, uh, but on the back, it says like grandpa, number seven, whatever it is, right? So like they want to show that pride. Uh, sometimes you'll see the class year, especially when you look at seniors, uh, it's a great way to keep those coming in and out. Uh, if it's seniors 2023, seniors 2024 for the school year coming up, uh, that you're able to, to, to really personalize those right there. Um, and then the class status as well. So seniors, juniors, kindergarten, fifth grade, graduations, freshmen, whatever it may be, uh, eighth graders, this is our senior year of middle school or whatever it may be, uh, you could be able to personalize that easily. And just like this, uh, like this logo that we're looking here, Bloomfield, Bloomfield Bulldogs, that was created in the online designer using layout MAS 199, right? Because we talked about those layout numbers that are in the idea book, which the idea book, um, I did end up, I did find one, thanks to Mike, who ran in. Uh, but essentially, this is the idea book, right? So um, let me just go full screen real quick. Um, well, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe full screen. Oh, there we go. There's full screen. So this is our idea book. Uh, the cover uh, is is for you, for your name on it, has your, has customized your business or your name. Uh, and then it's all on this three ring binder. So you could just go through and say, okay, cool. School, um, you know, where's that page that we were looking at before? We're just browsing through school, preschool, elementary. You want to get to like the mascots. Here's some collegiate stuff. Uh, and mascots, look, MAS 187, just like we saw online, online on the digital version, we have this version. Now, this being customized to your business, they don't know that Easy Prints is the artwork catalog. They know that this is just you, right? And then you could take like, hey, sports. Maybe they want to see the sports pages, but um, there's some stuff in the back like occasions or travel or work, uh, like just regular like business logos. Like you could pull these out, right? So you don't you don't need to be showing them like a mechanic uh, you know, page of layouts, just, just be able to pare it down for what they are looking for. The schools, the mascots, the clubs, uh, the sports, whatever it may be. So, uh, some cool stuff right in there that you're able to, able to show them. So, um, and all of this personalization, all add on. So we're using that layout. Then we could just use dad. We could put it on the sheet and print it for essentially free, just get free printing, uh, where it says dad and just put that on the logo when you're pressing it. Right. Like, this shirt that I'm wearing, I could easily put like a little Dave, a little name tag right there and personalize that. Now, personalization is truly the key. I'm covering it up here, um, which I'll just pop down. But essentially, you could really uh, build value in it. It's going to cost you $2, sometimes even nothing at all. If you could fit it on the gang sheet, which I haven't even talked about gang sheets yet. Whoa, we're getting it. We're getting into some, some really profit potential stuff here. But uh, essentially, 
It could be free to add that name for you, maybe one additional press. So whatever that values in your time, four to six seconds, whatever it takes uh, to do an additional press on your heat press. Uh, but you're going to charge at least five dollars to say, oh, you want to put dad on it? Yeah, it's going to be five dollars extra. And ninety nine percent of the time they're like, cool, that's fine. Take your money. Take my money. I want it. I want it to say dad or mom or whatever it is on it. I want my kid's number on the back. Sure. Fine. No problem. Right. And that's how you're really going to add some profit potential on that. And so those gang sheets, I talked about the gang sheets a little bit, right? So this is kind of like what the gang sheet looks like. If you were in, when we were just in easy view, we saw that dotted line that we could see here around everything. But now we have like two of these CHS senior or two CHS Eagles. Uh, but we were able to fit on there, mom, dad, freshman, senior, junior, sophomore. That is that personalization now that we're adding as a different uh, a, a different print location. If it's going to go on the back, or maybe it's going to go on a sleeve print. Now you're adding value with the apparel just because it has multiple locations, but you're personalizing it. So it's really, really cool. So uh, I want to show you just quickly, I'll jump back into the easy view online designer, quickly show you how gang sheets kind of work uh, and some pricing uh, as we talk about that. So it's really, really cool to be able to do um, and makes it incredibly uh, cost effective and it really kind of boosts your profit. So here's our uh, our nine inch wide graphic that's on our standard size sheet. So you could kind of see here, 11 and a quarter inch by 14 inches right there at the top. And we have our Rossberg Stay Hungry Red Hawks, right? Um, so if we don't want this to be two colors, let's just, uh, I'm just going to grab these and just make this a one color graphic, right? Uh, they don't want to do a two color. They just want to do a one color today. So easy as that, we change it back to a one color, right? Everything's editable pretty much in perpetuity. Like you even have the undos like, oops, no, I made a mistake. Nope, I want to go back. You have the edit in or the undo and redo commands right here at the top. How cool is that? So let's say we want to do some of that mom, dad stuff, right? So here we just do new text. Let me type in dad. And we'll change this to like a, I don't know, an athletic kind of looking font. Now there's 250 plus fonts here in the Easy View Online Designer. But of course, there's a lot. So we could look at this, go sport block, and there we go. Something a little bit more uh, what we were looking for. Wow, that one looks cool. Indiana solid, right? So we'll do this one. Let's size this down. It's going to go on a sleeve or something. So like four inches, right? So like that. Or let's just say mom, mom as well, or whatever club name, right? Or maybe it's, uh, you know, you want to do the stuff for, uh, let's just, yeah, set that to four inches. Say you want to do uh, some polos, right? With just this logo at three and a half inches. It's pretty much there. Three and a half inches. You see, I'm just typing in and sizing this all ready to go. Um, we could pull that in there. Let's uh, pull a 2024, right? So, or 2324. So let's just double click. And you can see that I'm adding all this artwork, right? 2324. Uh, and if you haven't noticed, our price is not going up at all. Well, no, you haven't noticed because my face is covering it. <laughs> So regardless of how much we have on this sheet, right? Our price, our, or our price, did, why did our price change? Why is our price change in there? The price really shouldn't be changing based on what we have on our sheet. That's really weird. Let me just make sure. No, Super strange. All right, cool. I don't know what's going on because it should, should be all the same price. Um, as we have it all set up, uh, that's screen print goof proof 48 quantity. Um, okay, cool. But as, uh, yeah, as we take this, I kind of want to figure out why this, this pricing is going down. That's, uh, very strange. Oh, it's because I had that uploaded artwork in there. Um, when I was pulling that in, was that why? All right. All right. Well, we'll figure that out, but anything that you could fit on this sheet, uh, essentially sh ships for the same price. Uh, so it allows you to uh, to fit anything on our gang sheet right here uh, in any any format. We actually even have jumbo as well. So we'll pull our jumbo up and as big as we want. And see that that does increase the price just a little bit, but we have way more space. So I did uh, I did scale that one up, but essentially we're here uh, and we could fit everything on here. So now we're uh, we're gonna add. We could just add more layouts on here. Let's go to school, new for 2023, um, and just grab our, like, find your voice, right? So now we're going for a different club. All right here, and we could size this to four. That's that left chest. Uh, and, yeah, you could see anything else you want to add on here, the text. Um, and, yeah, we'll throw back on the mom, dad, whatever it is. I, I won't go through changing everything up here for you. Um, but essentially, 
just fitting this all on here. Now we're all set, ready to go. Let me size this down, dad. And you can see all this stuff. Now all of this fits on the same sheet for the same price, as long as it's the same ink color. Was that what was going on with me? I had I was adding an additional ink color. Um, but yes, so essentially you could mock up or you could add all of this stuff to your sheet, really profit pack. Now I'm paying $3.90 for the entire sheet. Uh, so that's two of these full front images, uh, the mom, dad, the 2023, the choir, uh, whatever it may be. You could add these all in here, upload your own artwork, whatever it's going to be, um, and be able to really profit from that. So uh, really cool, really, really powerful tool that's going to show you all this. And then when we go next, uh, next, it's actually going to show you a proof right here before you order it. So you don't have to order a, a digital proof. You could order a proof if you want us to fix anything on that. Um, that essentially that digital proof is just going to be our artist. So like if you have a script and tail or you can't figure out a color changing on something um, or you aren't can't find the font you're looking for our, we have a whole team of artists who's going to be able to help you out. Uh, but essentially, if you're happy with how this looks, this is your review step, your live proof right here. You can place your order and check out. And it's even going to tell you these are going to ship on the 18th. Right. So uh, in just a few days, uh, I think we're looking at the weekend because we missed production cut off today. So it's going to be as if our, our orders placed uh, tomorrow. So, um, yeah, really, really powerful stuff that you could do um, here in the Easy View Online Designer all for free. So something that we're built to built to help you out here. So let's go on back to our slide deck. And. We talked about personalization, adding that in. Let's talk about how to sell them, right? So I know we've been talking about spirit sale a little bit, and we're going to get to that in a second. Um, but here, let's talk about those pop-ups and events. Like I mentioned earlier at the top of the uh, of the presentation here, that we did do a full uh, webinar solely on pop-up events that you could use that kind of looks a lot like... Uh, that the, the we do uh, that looks kind of similar to how we're going to talk about this right now. So those uh, very very uh, everything down from logistics to all of the details that you need to be putting together uh, to the how you should be bringing them. So even printing on demand. I love printing on demand at pop ups because you are reducing that physical risk of inventory. I told the story in that last webinar about how the band, I, we printed pre-printed all this merch um, and sold out sometimes and uh, have way too much sometimes. So my band hasn't played in four years, but yet there's still, um, you know, boxes and boxes of t-shirts in my garage from those days. Now imagine if that had a year on it, right? It's like the seniors 2023 or like uh, here, like uh, Linwood Athletic you know, or Linwood football 2023. And now the season's over, you're never going to sell those. So that's wasted inventory. You're reducing that financial risk of buying all that pre-printed inventory, where of course you have to buy the apparel and the transfers, but that's a fraction of the cost of the value of both of those put together, right? Because now you're including time, or if you're outsourcing to a print shop for that big run or your own time, which is super valuable, right? So now you're wasting all of that. You could bring the inventory on site, just like the blank uh, blue or the blank blue, the blank green and white shirts that you see on the table here, and then just press them when the order comes in. You, you buy the transfers, marry them together. And then since you're printing for the school, you're always going to need green and white in stock. They're going to use that, that apparel down the road. It just might be a different design, right? So things to keep in mind. And then you just print on demand. It makes it really super easy. And for online store fulfillment, not just printing on site makes it really super easy too. So <coughs> Terry must have been here last time that I still haven't brought the t-shirts in to sell or give away. Um, <laughs> yeah, one of these days, one of, I'll, I'll include them as a uh, as a free promo. <laughs> Just uh, just to do those. Yeah. Cinch text you guys are talking about. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of different items here in just a minute uh, that you could bring and sell to these markets, too. So uh, especially for printing on site, you do have really a great opportunity for an interactive element. So say if you bring two or three designs, maybe one is here like the boosters go Panthers and that's that generic design. Then maybe you have the, the Linwood High School football. Um, you know, 2023, and maybe even then like cheerleading or, or band, you cover all of these different kind of ways of, uh, or these different clubs and groups that are all there at the stadium on a, on a Friday night, right? And you're able to, to market to all of those different audiences then. The parents, the band, the students, 
even the spirit wear, like just the regular students who just want to buy stuff because they don't have a, a Linwood high school shirt to wear in the stands and be green because they want to flood the bleachers with green. You could have, say, all of those designs displayed and they get to pick. It's that interactive like, well, I want the football graphic on a white tee. I want the football graphic on a green tee, right? So whatever you want to do, you're able to do that. And it gives your customers a choice. Of course, if you're printing on that gang sheet, you have multiple images all right there. And then you have the unique placement. Uh, you are not unique placement. You could do unique placement with the dads, the moms, the whatever it may be uh, that you have as printed on that extra space on your gang sheet. So uh, really cool opportunities to be able to sell on site. But if you want to hear more tips, uh, check out that webinar that's over on our YouTube channel. Uh, and it's a full presentation all about how to uh, produce uh apparel on site and the tips for the best success, especially not just these tournaments, events uh, with the school in your local community, but arts festivals, vendor shows, stuff like that. If you're looking to really branch out uh, and expand your market, it's a great opportunity uh, for apparel decorators, right? So um, some, some tips that I do wanna cover the important, the top hits from that webinar, of course, is have the pricing and choices, the apparel, the items that you're selling, clearly displayed, clearly labeled, because a lot of times people won't ask like how much it costs unless they really, really want it, right? Which you could spur some of that impulse by if they're like, oh, that shirt's only 15 bucks. I like it a lot or have those deals, right? So it's like uh, two t-shirts, one t-shirt is, let's just say 20 bucks. You could get two t-shirts for 30 bucks. So like buy one, get one half off incredibly valuable for you to sell more apparel. They feel like they're getting a screaming deal. Your profit margins are already over 100%. So you're making a ton of money and you're just moving more shirts, right? So that's exactly what you want to be doing, right? Uh, I talk about using bins. You could kind of see them in the background, uh, but those plastic bins clearly labeled what size they are, right? So I like doing that. We have a whole printing on demand uh, on site uh, video that I actually have a bin, I label it, I put tape on the outside, put cardboard dividers in one bin so I know what sizes are where. So just at a glance, anything you could do to speed up your uh, your production flow or like if somebody asks like, hey, do you have any mediums still left in stock? You just quickly look back and be like, yes, I do. In blue, yep, I got them. Instead of have to go like dig through a bin or a cardboard box that gets beat up, uh, and sometimes they get dirty or if it rains and you're outside, uh, those shirts could get wet. Where like these plastic bins, those plastic bins look like they have holes in them. I like the ones that don't have holes in them. So um, that's that's the easiest way to do it. So uh, the great tip too is with school sales, it's usually just two, two colors. Like uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, a red, a black, white, right? And white will print on both red and black. Or like here, a navy and a royal white ink prints on all of it. So when you're setting up your transfer sheet, it's so easy to just be able to set up, boom, white inks, you're ready to go. Uh, you wanna make sure that if you're printing on site, you have electrical for your heat press, 15 amp dedicated outlet, nothing like taking the whole stadium lights down <laughs> on a Friday night because your heat press drew a little bit too much power on the same circuit as those. So uh, it's just something to keep in mind, ask the event organizers, uh, ask the school if it is dedicated. You don't wanna take out the entire concession stand and nobody's getting their nachos or hot dogs because you trip the breaker with your heat press. So you just wanna ensure that that stuff's not going to happen and that you could actually produce apparel, especially if you're using a heat press to produce on site, you technically don't have anything to sell if that heat press is not able to be getting up to temperature, to be recovering. Uh, uh, we did a video where we actually set up a booth outside and that was something that I, you know, I have to tell you to consider is if it's a really windy night, that heat press may struggle to stay up to temperature because the wind is moving so much air, especially in the fall when it starts to get cold, uh, your heat press may struggle to keep up to temperature if it doesn't have that nice premium cast in heating element. So of course then a point of sale system too. So your square readers, your little uh, clover kiosks, whatever it is, if you plan on doing any events whatsoever, you need to invest in one. A lot of times uh, those services will give you the little readers for free if you sign up for their monthly plan or whatever it may be. So uh, you could use your own square reader, uh, take cash and card. A lot of people don't carry cash these days. So being able to, to, to accept both forms of payment is incredibly valuable to you as a decorator. Of course, uh, these little carts and stuff are really cool to invest in. And I love this. I'm so glad we included this photo in here. Um, but it shows you all of like the different stuff that you could pack onto one just little eight foot by eight foot um, 
uh, little thing. So it's really great. Uh, Pamela asked, could you recommend a t-shirt stand? Uh, a lot of times for me, my favorite, and I like keep them in my car almost all the time because I have a tendency to use them way too often, is I have a 10 by 10 pop-up canopy I bought several years ago on a sale from like, uh, I don't know, it was uh, like Meyer or Walmart or something. I saw it on sale for 80 bucks, uh, 10 by 10 pop-up canopy. Uh, and I've well got my money out of it. I bring it everywhere with me. And then just a uh, little six foot or eight foot folding table, plastic table, a tablecloth over top of it. Um, we talk about a lot of the setup. Oh, like a cart like this. Um, I don't know exactly where they got this one from, but this looks like a either custom built thing um, or just a little like kind of like display or food cart. This one's really cool if you have a trailer or you're working specifically always in the school and you can kind of tuck this away in a locker room or something while it's not being used. Um, but something like this, you can even see one important thing that I really love about this is the lighting. So when, I, when we talked about going to events like vendor shows or expos, trade shows, uh, even like little craft fairs and flea markets, lighting is so important because otherwise it looks dark and dingy and not necessarily like super approachable. Like even if you're, you're, you know, next to the concession stand on at the football field, the local high school football field on a Friday night, there's the stadium lights, but sometimes it gets really dark if you're not on the field. So having your own lamps uh, is easy as just the clamp lamps, the clamp lights uh, that you could get at like a dollar store or something like that, or Home Depot, where you could light your product offering, light and see what you're doing, light the table, the POS system, so you could see what's going on. Um, but yeah, I love this one. If I knew where this one, if I find out where this one is, I might just be tempted to buy it because <laughs> it is super cool. It looks like it opens up, it has the waterfall arms to showcase apparel. And the whole back looks branded, a uh, really, really cool thing. So, uh, of course, you could pop up at any type of school event. Uh, those football games that we were talking about, the orientations, uh, the drama club, or the uh, the nights that they're actually putting on the plays, open houses, the parent-teacher conferences, uh, school carnivals, Earth Days, any of those field day festivals that they put on, the book sales. I know I always love the Scholastic Book Fair, right? So being able to, to set up in tandem with those. So, um, yeah. So uh, this side for pop-ups at school events, uh, how do you get into those since most schools in my area have a bookstore and they sell school apparel there? So Tasha, that's a great question. Uh, that could, that if they, like high schools have a tendency to, to kind of have their own like spirit sale kind of thing that some schools do run. Um, now I would say that's still a minority. Not every high school has that. Uh, but then in that case, start looking for uh, elementary middle schools that still have these events or like a traveling baseball team, a traveling soccer team um, that the high school is not servicing and that's going to be your foot in the door. So, uh, it does kind of, kind of, you know, look at some different markets, uh, within that, that school district. Uh, Brittany asks, I'm currently watching this from a pop-up at a baseball tournament. <laughs> hey, look at that. We have a couple tables, heat press apparel transfers. Uh, they order and we make it here. So we're not stuck with a bunch of extra products. Brittany, number one, love that advice. Uh, and I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it out there. And it's not too hot from under the pop-up at a baseball tournament. But you can see it's successful. And in the downtime, when the games are going on and the parents are away, you get to hang out with me, right? So Brittany, thank you for hanging out with us uh, here today and sharing your experience. Absolutely love it. So uh, online stores, I saw a lot of chatter going on in the, in the chat section about Spirit Sale. Uh, and so Spirit Sale is an absolutely awesome uh, software that we have proprietary here at Stalls. So it kind of does plug into the systems that are already in place. Uh, and you could do your uh, online stores all through there. The best thing about it is that it's one-time payment. There are no credit card processing fees that are associated with it. You could use your own payment provider if you want to. Um, and it is a one-time yearly fee. No nickel and diming. No uh, every product that you put up there. It's unlimited stores. And if you're interested in really setting it up and you are serious about pursuing uh, this, this school uh, market, Spirit Store Spirit Sale is a awesome solution for you because you could set up customized online stores for that chess club, for that football uh, team, for the cheer squad, for that baseball tournament, or, hey, uh, you know, the football team made states, the basketball team made states. Let's put up a store specifically with like three or four apparel items that now there is no bulk ordering from the school. They don't have to gather all the money together. They just say, hey, send it out to the parents and kids. Hey, here's the link for the championship gear. Buy it if you want to. You have it up for two weeks. You close the store. And that's it. It's a great way to optimize those sales and really reduce the risk for all parties involved, including you, 
and now you're just profiting, right? So you can even like optimize those price breaks. Hey, order by October 1st, it's this price. Order by the end of October, it's this, you know, it's more or order, you know, order in the pre-sale. It's cheaper than if I have to produce it on site in this small little, uh, you know, small little run afterwards. I want to make sure it goes into the bulk run. There are no limits to the amount of stores that you could stand up and have running at the same time. So say you're servicing six different school districts and 20 different clubs, you could have all of those stores up and operating at the same exact time uh, and close them or fulfill them independently. You could have them open for as long as you want. Or like I mentioned, like just a short little like two week period. Hey, get your pre-orders in now because they're all going to be, you know, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to buy them or the price is going to go up or whatever it may be um, that you could be able to, to do that with spirit sale. It helps you with your inventory, tracks all of your inventory, tracks all of that invoicing. Uh, it makes it really easy. It's a super, super powerful program. And you could get yourself a free uh, demo of the entire thing. Uh, Mike threw that uh, that link in the chat section. And uh, just right there, go and request a free demo and we'll have one of our specialists. I believe it's Chad, um, who is just an awesome guy, number one, super knowledgeable about t-shirt printing and apparel businesses and super knowledgeable about the solutions that Spirit Sale offers. So uh, I don't know the exact price. I think it's $5.99 right now for the entire year. Uh, but if you look at what anybody says about it, the first store pays that off. And now for the rest of the year, you are 100% profit. You could run your own store through there if you want, right? It doesn't just have to be your clients. It could be your own stuff as well. So uh, really, really powerful, really, really cool. And compared to a lot of the other solutions out there, it is incredibly affordable. So uh, available 24 seven online, get yourself an online store without being nickeled and dimed on transaction fees or listing fees or paying for each individual custom store you stand up. It's all free uh, with one. Well, it's not free, but you have to pay. <laughs> it is all included in one uh, one solution of or one one purchase of spirit sale. So uh, really cool. Mike, uh, yeah, could, you could throw your uh, uh, that link in there. Nope, it's still right there in the chat. But uh, if you guys want to check that out, definitely request a demo. Again, free. No obligation to get a demo to look at the services and solutions. Uh, we have, like Chad would love to spend uh, an hour with you walking through the entire uh the, the back end and the front end and showing you the capabilities of what you could do with that. Uh, and, you know, he'll ask questions too about your business and see how we could cut, tailor uh, the solution towards you as well. So really, really cool. So um, we talked about at the beginning, talked about those different markets that we identified, and this is where that's going to come back up. We've even mentioned those different markets of uh, the staff, the students, the parents, uh, all we've talked, and alumni, we've talked about them a few times coming through, uh, but here is where it's really going to be a detrimental for what your, you know, who your audience is, what you keep in mind. So like parents are more, much more likely to be on Facebook. The kids are going to be on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. So right there, we have this divide of where they are consuming media. So you want to keep that in mind. And of course, uh, you know, you would kick off the start of that new spirit store that you just stood up with a live on Facebook for the parents and maybe a live on TikTok starring like your kid or somebody. So you don't look, uh, you know, cool and hip doing your TikTok dances, right? It's a lot more than just dances on TikTok these days. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I don't. I don't do the dancing on TikTok. Nope, not me, not me. So, uh, but that's something to keep in mind when we're looking at those audiences. So uh, just, just keep in mind on that. Now, what should you sell at your spirit wear store, right? The top hits, of course, for any apparel decorators, t-shirts, number one, almost always, t-shirts are king for apparel decorating. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, right? Just a regular t-shirt. I think this is a next level 3600, uh, but decorated, right? So you'll see that as the number one thing leaving anybody's shop or sold at any of uh, these events, the, you know, at the on-site events or even in the spirit store, uh, when you're going to sell spirit sale store that you're going to stand up for your customers. Hoodies incredibly popular as well, especially in the fall and the springtime. Sometimes you'll see some outerwear too, but some get a little expensive and out of that impulse buy uh, territory and everybody wants a nice zip hoodie or a pullover hoodie. Um, of course, crew neck sweatshirts, incredibly popular in recent years. So we've really seen this resurgence coming back with them. Uh, hats, caps, just like we see here from the Rams. Rally towels, the spirit towels are Number one, dirt cheap and super easy to print as an apparel decorator. And then you could sell them for three, four bucks or get that bulk run when they want everybody to have one uh, waving the towel around against the big rival basketball game or whatever it is, you know, like 
you could really start selling those. So uh, that's something that you could keep on site as an item you could sell. Of course, uh, non-apparel items too. Uh, I heard a little bit of a, a stickers, st uh, you know, sticker talk. But you could put those stickers on mugs or cups, tumblers, uh, especially the flex style, uh, flex style emblems uh, that give you that kind of like liquid embroidery look. Like so cool to be able to put those as a pressure sensitive on hard goods, uh, whether it be notebooks or, uh, you know, bottles, water bottles, whatnot. Uh, and then even stuff like backpacks, tote bags. We were talking about cinch sacks in the in the chat section, too, that I saw, you know. So all of these accessories you could absolutely add to the spirit store uh, to be able to sell those to this audience. And of course, uh, that's going to vary. You know, maybe you're not selling hoodies if you're living somewhere like Arizona where it's just always hot. It's t-shirts and tank tops then, you know? So you're going to know best for your local community. Uh, Dawn, great idea. Uh, she chimes in with the mini football sell well too. So yeah, that's the bulk run maybe that you that you put up. Knowing that you're going to sell them year after year just says the team name. Uh, and then sometimes you can even sell those in bulk to like the cheerleading squad because they want to throw them out in the stands, you know, get people, get, get people all jazzed up. So little mini footballs, the boom sticks, those big thunder sticks, the inflatable ones, uh, those are uh, – a great promo product uh, that you could pick up and add on as an additional product. Uh, stickers, I love any on-site, whenever you're selling on-site, so like say we're selling on game day in the stadium or outside the stadium, I love just getting people to the booth. If you could get them to your table, this is, uh, this is a really, really cool opportunity, and that's half the battle, right? So offer something free. Hey, come on, stop by the, the merch booth for some free stickers, right? And so they want to stop by and they'll be like, oh, that T-shirt. Now, they had no intention of ever buying a T-shirt, but now they're looking at it and they're like, oh, I like that one. Is this available online? And you're like, no, nah, it's only available right now for the event. Boom. Now you're making a sale, right? So you got it, right? Um, kids in Arizona wear hoodies year round. That seems insane, especially now that it's like 100 some degrees. <laughs> wow. Um, so, of course, as we wrap up here, we just have a couple slides left. Um, we're going to talk about what transfer to use when. Uh, if you have. A, I talked about Ultra Color Max and our direct -to film transfers a little bit for that sampling. I know John was in there and uh, and talked about how those samples sell. So as you're looking to get this business, maybe using Ultra Color Max, that direct -to film transfer, uh, where you could do any amount of colors in any quantity, and it's all priced per square inch. So you could really get some great profitability all built in right there for your uh for yourself and your business, right? So makes it super easy and it ships next day too. So easy to add on to any order uh, or if you just need it quick, you, if you order by midnight, it ships next day. So uh, like when we were looking at our turn time and we missed the production cutoff for screen printed transfers today uh, and it looks like the order would be placed tomorrow because uh, that's we're past the production cutoff today. Uh, we still have time for Ultra Color Max that our order would ship out tomorrow evening. Uh, by the end of day, it would be shipping out. So four o'clock, five o'clock here Eastern, if you order by midnight Eastern tonight. So you can see this what to use when guide. Um, and this actual printout is included with our welcome kit. So if you just signed up for a new account from Transfer Express, uh, we'll ship one out to you. Or if it's just been a while, uh, you could go ahead and request that. Uh, Mike will throw a link here in the chat section to be uh, to, to where you could get that free sample set. Uh, there is free samples available on Transfer Express always. And that welcome kit is called the mini and the little drop down on the sample page. It's called mini sample set with catalog. So just make sure you're selecting that. You'll get the what to use one guide. You'll get a black and white idea book. So the uh, the artwork catalog. Now that one is uh, this one is not branded to you or your business. It's actually going to be branded uh, by Transfer Express. So not something necessarily that you want to show your customers, but as reference for yourself absolutely right and so that's going to be included in there so you could kind of browse that at your own leisure maybe if you don't have an internet connection or uh you know you're just sitting there watching tv and the the baseball game's getting boring or whatever it is you can start thumbing through and getting some ideas for those layouts for your customers includes this what to use when guide which is based on the best transfer to use for your profit margin of course in some cases they're going to say like you could see the screen printed transfers takes up uh, apparel quantity from 24 and on from uh, one to three colors. But they say, hey, I really love that screen printed shirt that you did for me on my last job, which you know was a screen printed transfer. And But it's four colors this time. And you could say, just hey, it's going to be this price and they're going to understand and you're going to be able to sell the correct product to them. But that's a more rare case. A lot of, there's just so many different heat transfers out there in the market. 
um, especially between here at Transfer Express and Stalls. Uh, so this kind of breaks this down into a few different categories uh, and based on what apparel uh, you're printing on. So the apparel fabric you'll see in each uh, you know, broken down. So cotton polyester, cotton poly blends. You're going to be using our goof proof screen printer transfers. If you're printing on 100% polyester, you could shift on over to our Elastoprints screen printer transfers. It's just a different formula that applies at a lower temperature. So you're not going to be scorching those heat sensitive fabrics, right? Um, and then so uh, Ultra Color Pro is our hybrid digital screen printer transfers. Ultra Color Max is the direct to film. So if you get the sample pack, you get samples of all of those and you get this what to use one guide to help you make the best a decision for your uh, your project that you're working on based on these uh, quantity uh, colors in the design and the apparel that you're printing on. So <clears throat> really, really valuable thing to have. Of course, now we talk about your advantage. I saw Mike just uh, just make a comment like you need to do something different to stand out or sell something different that others aren't selling. Um, and this is kind of your advantage locally. When you're approaching schools or anybody in your local community, what's going to set you apart from if they just go online to custom ink. <laughs> Number one, it could be price, right? You could be killing custom ink on price. And I guarantee I've run pricing scenarios all the time for uh, content like this in these presentations or on site at events or even for uh, my own projects, right? I'm going to custom ink, I'm quoting the same exact job, apples to apples. Their turnaround time is always two weeks, right? So if you can't beat them on price, beat them on turnaround time. Say, hey, yeah, you need it in two weeks or you need it by the end of the week because I could deliver by the end of the week, right? Lightning fast turn times on Ultra Color Max, that order ships next day. Um, and even though we're looking at a weekend, that other order when we are looking at a screen printed transfer is going to ship out Monday, right? So you can see that there's really a huge benefit uh, to, to using screen printed transfers. It's a two-day transit anywhere in the United States, either regardless of what transfer type you're ordering. Uh, two-day transit, so at maximum, you're looking at maybe four days from when you place the order to when it's showing up, four business days, right? And so take a day to print, that's five. That's one week. You just literally chopped a half. Uh, you, you just halved Custom Inc.'s uh, turnaround time. So really cool to be able to offer that. Services. Custom Inc.'s not going to show up and, and vend on site. They're not going to set up online stores, right? Not, not for each individual club. No, they're not setting up any of that. No, get your full order and then send it to us. We're not going to deal with that. You're going to deal with that. And that's going to be a huge benefit for these schools and these local clubs, these, these small little uh, community or the, you know, the small little student-based organizations that aren't able to get that big bulk run. They're not going to be like, well, we think 25 people are going to buy it. So we're going to drop a couple hundred bucks on apparel right here. No, put the spirit sale, put the, put the spirit store up uh, and be able to have everybody buy them pre-sale or just fulfill them as they come on demand. That is a service that you are going to stand out. I guarantee against 90% of the other apparel decorators out there on the market. This is, you just got to get in early because this, 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 uh, the setting up stores for all of your clients to be able to easily purchase stuff, whether it's fanware or uniforms for the actual team or for the coaches, uh, setting that stuff up in an online store is becoming increasingly more and more popular. And I'm surprised not more apparel decorators are doing it. In the next couple of years, you're going to see this as a huge sales tool for almost all apparel decorators. So it's easy to get onto it early. Um, and of course, there's tons of solutions out there for it. Spirit Sale is just our solution here at Stalls. And I love it for that just one-time cost. You don't, you're not nickel and dime for uh, every little option or they take 3% of every sale. No, not going to happen. So uh, ease of use, options. Are you suggesting, hey, no, I know, I know what's relevant right now. Kids love the Bella Canvas 3001. It's a really, really nice t-shirt or like, hey, you know, I see a lot of oversized long sleeve t-shirts, the comfort colors, the 1717, you know, like you're seeing this style and just staying in tune with what's out there and what people are looking for. That's immediately going to set you up uh, across the bar. You go to custom ink and it's just like, uh, pick whatever apparel style you want. You have to search and find out. And they're like, I don't know for, for the, for, you know, maybe uh, if you're not an apparel decorator, maybe you have heard of Gildan Haynes for the loom. Those are the only brands you've heard of before. And those are not the best options when it comes to blanks, when you're talking about Bella Canvas or Next Level or Port and Company, like they're going to pick something and be like, ah, that t-shirt was like, it's just itchy. Like it was, it was, it was cheap. 
because they're just shopping based on price. And you're going to go, no, actually, well, depending on your budget, uh, I have a good, better, best pricing model. So I'll price you at something that's good. That's going to be the lowest, the budget. And then I'll price you at something good. And I'll price you at something best. Do you want that nice fitted premium t-shirt that people actually want to wear? Or do you want, does your budget only allow for that, you know, kind of basic little bit more boxy tee, right? And just presenting those options is a step above your competition. I guarantee it, right? So then they're gonna, they're gonna trust you as a pro. It seems like you know what you're doing because you do know what you're doing, right? And you're giving them these options. It puts them in control. You're listening to them. When they tell you about their problems, you're offering a solution. And that's something that no national competitor is doing. And any local competitors in your region probably aren't doing either. So there's your advantage. There's how you're standing out. Maybe it's low minimums, right? They do the big bulk run, say, yeah, we need 25 shirts. We need 100 shirts for the entire faculty. And I'm like, Oh yeah, we forgot about the the science department. Oh, do you think we could get four more? Custom Inc's gonna say no. Your other competitors are gonna say no, or they're gonna charge them forty dollars per shirt. And you're like, well, I ordered some extra transfers because I wanted the quantity break anyway. So, uh, yeah, sure, four, and you could charge them whatever you want for it then, right? So, um, you got to really get that there. So, uh, Laura, the the Facebook groups we mentioned earlier, um, Mike could put in the chat right there. Um, but one is called Heat Press for Profit, powered by Stalls, and the other one is. Easy Prints Decorators. So Easy Prints is specifically for Transfer Express, and it covers a lot of the Easy Prints designer. Now, they're both private groups, okay? So anything you say in there is not publicly blasted across Facebook. So if you're on your public profile, like your business profile, or even your own personal profile, um, you don't have to worry about your customers seeing anything you say. If you're like, I, I just need help with this pricing scenario, and they're like, wait, that's my pricing scenario. No. Your customers aren't going to see it at all. Of course, uh, some other advantages that help you build relationships and get in is supporting the PTA. Show up to the meetings. The Athletic Booster Club will hold events like pancake breakfasts or any of these fundraisers. Go to them, right? Be a part of the community and they're going to notice. And then you're going to be the first pick. Or in that PTA meeting when they're like, a drama club needs uh, needs some t-shirts for the, the winter play. And you go, hey, can I throw a bid in? I have a t-shirt business. Um, and I would love to, to just bid on that. And they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, send us a bid, email it to this. That's your in, right? So you have all this stuff. Uh, the Athletic Booster Club donations or sponsorships. Uh, a buddy of mine does not do t-shirts, right? But he's a local real estate agent, but he sponsors all of the local schools. He sees huge value in it. And it's just a couple hundred bucks. And they put a banner on the fence that thousands of people see, right? Exposing his real estate business, whatever it may be, right? But what if it was your t-shirt business? That looks really cool if you are servicing that team and then you're supporting them too. I guarantee that's something that Custom Inc's not doing, right? They're not supporting these local communities that they're working in that you that you could be printing for. So you have an advantage that's going to help you stand out uh, in your local community to these schools, to these clubs, to these audiences, the staff, the alumni, whatever it may be, right? You have the power and you're going to do it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I know we went just a little bit over an hour, um, but we did go through a few uh, a few extended uh, topics here and we got into easy view to show you how easy it is to design those. Katie asks, uh, Dave, did you say there's a fa Facebook group for the Spirit Sale platform? I believe there is. Uh, you do have to, be, I think it might be invite only, like you have to actually have an active Spirit Sale subscription uh, to be able to go in there and interact with the community there. Um, but yeah, you just need to do that. So uh, Jimmy, absolutely awesome. I did mention the sponsorships. Jimmy says, I paid $100 to put my name on a banner for the local youth football team. It's a write-off also. So <laughs> there you go. It's a donation. You're writing it off your business. And now you're getting that free marketing. And I bet you that youth football team, Jimmy, when they say like, hey, uh, we need t-shirts, who are they going to? The guy who supported them, who sponsors the team, who sponsors the league. That's who they're going to go to first, right? So it's it's kind of you scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's it. So uh, Amanda says, thanks so much uh, for hanging out. Uh, I'll be back for the next one. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave and Mike. Yes, absolutely. We're always here to help you guys out all the time. Okay. So yeah, my job here at Transfer Express is built to find educational resources to help apparel decorators just like you, whether you are just starting out or have been in the business for 10, 15 years, whatever you need to help get you over that uh, plateau or reach success, 
success looks different for all of us, okay? So I wanna make sure that I put everything, all of the resources that we have here at Transfer Express to help your business succeed. Uh, and so if that is this, this uh, you know, just kind of looking at marketable opportunities to, to go into spirit sale or, or, or get into that spirit where market for your local community, Absolutely, let's do it, um, John. Awesome, always to see, always great to see you. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the kind words. Um, yes, everybody, thank you so much. We're always available. Info at transferexpress.com. You could call us one 2280 um, And of course, connect with us on social media. I'll hide my little face right here. Um, you could see that we have our blog. We're always available on social media. You could go and see upcoming events at transferexpress.com uh, slash events hyphen schedule, or just scroll all the way to the bottom of the homepage at transferexpress.com and click on events. But um, yeah, with that, I want to say happy pressing and we'll see you guys next time, okay? Thanks for hanging out. Right. Happy pressing.